Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's been causing a lot of concern for landlords during this coronavirus lockdown. As the restrictions start to ease, landlords are realizing that the effects of the lockdown will continue to impact them for quite some time. You see, tenants are facing a lot of financial uncertainty right now. Many of them have insecure employment contracts and little savings to fall back on. As a result, they're struggling to pay their rent, and this is causing a ripple effect for landlords. Some tenants may even be forced to leave cities and return home, leaving landlords with empty properties. But that's not all. The rental market is also facing another challenge an increase in supply. With the decline in tourism, many homes that were previously listed on short term rental websites like Airbnb have flooded the long term rental market. This means that landlords are now competing for tenants, and as a result, monthly rents are starting to fall. In fact, property website Zoopla has already seen rent reductions of more than 10% in certain areas of London. And while London has been hit the hardest so far, other major cities are likely to follow suit. But it's not just the lack of demand that's causing problems for landlords. With the current restrictions, it's difficult for people to even look for new rental properties. This means that when tenants do leave, it's becoming increasingly challenging to find new tenants to fill those vacancies. So, what can landlords do to protect themselves during these uncertain times? Well, one strategy is to try and keep existing tenants in their properties. Landlords can offer rent holidays or reductions to help tenants who are struggling financially. They can also assist their tenants in applying for housing benefits and local council hardship schemes. Another option for landlords is to consider remortgaging their buy-to-let loans at a lower rate. This can help to reduce their monthly mortgage payments and provide some financial relief. However, it's important to note that interest rates for landlord mortgages are increasing, and the choice of lenders is dwindling. This is because specialist lenders who fund these mortgages rely on international money markets, which have been affected by the current situation. Lastly, we're also seeing a shift in rental demand from cities to rural areas. Wealthy London families, in particular, are looking to escape the city and are inquiring about properties in places like the Cotswolds, Norfolk, and Northumberland. This may seem like good news for landlords with holiday lets, but it's important to remember that the terms of their mortgages may not allow them to enter into long-term agreements. So, there you have it. Landlords are facing a challenging future as the effects of the coronavirus lockdown continue to impact the rental market. It's important for landlords to be proactive, support their tenants, and explore options to protect their finances. We hope you found this information helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more investment content. Stay safe and take care.